Let's see here. I do I have a time here? We've been going for 51 minutes right now. We'll go. A little, we have more to go. We'll go a few more. Next one is from uh, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Um, thank you for providing a ton of resources to hobbyists. You're so welcome. Um, bam, bam, bam. I, oh, this is and this is relating to this. I wanted to know if I can keep track of end mill usage somehow. Does Fusion provide a linear length uh, of a cut so you can kind of figure that out? That's a really, really good question. I like that a lot. You do have um, a linear cut within within this. There's actually a couple of different ways you can do that, but there is actually an info tab over here, and that will show you. Um, it will show you the start and the end position, and it will show you the time being engaged in here. Um, and you will also see the machining distance for this one here. There's your cut link. So for this one tool path that we just that we just simulated, right there, you will see there's a machining distance of 693 millimeters. So there is a way for you right there, Jonathan, to to go in and check that out. You will also get all the the tool changes um, in here. Now, with that said, I think if you go in here, um, I think it will also show up in your machining setup uh, sheet. It can show up there. If you, there's a machining time that will show you that feed distance too. So you could go into all your different tooling operations. Uh, so if we go back to like one of the first ones we did in here, we could right click here and say machining time and you will see the machining time in here with the feet and speeds and in here you will also see the total uh, distance that it's fat um, but another thing i wanted to just show you that i did so i'm kind of like going back to my days at ridlam um, if you go out to google and you search macro b programming Um, and let's go to images. All right, this book right here by Peter Smith. Um, this book is done by Peter Smith. It's FANUC CNC custom macros, but it's not just for FANUC machines. Um, you can use this one for a lot of other machines out there. This book is one of the best things you can absolutely buy if you are, if you're ready to take your CNC programming to the next level. So what I actually ended up doing when I was a Ritlam, now, if you're just a hobbyist messing around with like a little table CNC machine, this maybe is not something you want to get into. But if you're like a professional CNC shop kind of thing, and you have not explored macro programming already, that book right there from Peter Smith, and I'm not affiliated, uh, is one of the best books you can, and it doesn't have to be for Fanoc, it can be also for Haas and other ones. So what I ended up doing at Ritlam was I actually created my own macro thing where I could keep track of all my different tools. Um, I used it for like breakage, so I could like set counters in there, how much the tool had been used, and you can do, the world will open up for you. So. Jonathan, that's my recommendation, that if you are looking to getting into figuring something out about end mill usage, um, buy that book. I know a lot of CNC machines already have things like this in the control of them, uh, doing something in the background, like I think the Matsura has it and other machines has it, but this here, that macro book is, is phenomenal. Peter Smith, check that out. All right.